but you're a private company. Hey guys, it's me again. I never thought I would be talking about certain articles. So let me show you. And if you find it interesting, like, share, hit the subscribe button and let's go. <clears throat> Facebook and Instagram is temporary, allows calls to violence against Russian. Does that make any sense? Why is that normal? I mean, I remember they always tell us, oh my God, you cannot say Alagab bar or you know what I tried to say. I don't want to misrepresent any other religion or whatever, because if one made the mistake, fly a plane, hit the building, I'm not going to blame all the other people. That was the freaking ID. And I already made the previous video. People are going to be gangster against all the Russian they see. Unless they are super beautiful women and they're going to get something out of it. Facebook allows war posts urging violence against Russian invaders. Why would you freaking do that? I mean, first of all, you're the first world country. You thought you're going to be nice, nice, nice to win the bad people. That you try to change all the freaking laws so we are freaking comfortable. But now you see... People are gangster, people are not delusional, you have to use power against power or something like that. And for the first time, the platform that you use to silence us, you're gonna use it to advocate for the war. So you feel justified to go in there and do all the damages that you can do. Right now you cannot even go on Facebook, post something because if it's kinda fishy, Facebook sent you this label. Blah, 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 blah. The most relevant is selected, so some replies may have been filtered out. How stupid am I to you? March 10, make the platforms will allow Facebook and Instagram users in some countries to call for violence against Russians and Russian soldiers in the context of Ukraine invasion. Russians and Russian soldiers. Does that make any sense? Sure, telling me a freaking president, somebody that's never in that power, you're gonna be like, oh, you bad, so everyone just like you is bad so you're telling me the asian russian also the mexican russian well that's kind of and the spanish kind of i don't know you get my point the black russian that's vidanya i don't get what's happening with you guys it's kind of weird according to eternal email seen by reuters on thursday in a temporary change to its hate speech policy the social media company is also temporarily allowing posts that call putin to call, call for the death to russian president vladimir putin or belarusian president alexander lukishekinikov okay my bad i destroyed that name according to eternal mails to its content why would you be so adamant to make people happy so they can open their mouth in one direction as a result of russian invasion of Ukraine, we have temporarily made allowance for forms of political expression that would normally violate our rules like violent speech such as deaths to russian invader we still won't allow credible calls for violence against russian civilians Hmm, wow, that will not be accidentally be normalized in a society, but it's a private company, you can do whatever you want, right? The calls for the leader's death will be allowed unless they contain other targets or have two indicators of credibility, such as the location or method on email set in recent change to the company's rules on violence and incitement. Oh, that's a good point. As if people cannot talk in codes, but no, it's okay. If we don't understand, we're going to assume the general public will not understand. You're just using this in a way to communicate with the soldiers on Facebook and Instagram. No wonder he is blocking those things. I know, man. I'm not sure even if they blocked Facebook or Putin blocked it, but it's just frustrating that I know this is not going to stop unless people are just going to be like, you know, what? Well, maybe we need to just chill a little and just negotiate in a way and just provide our own product very simple instead of be it's putin's fault and you have this platform ah we care about everybody but be no 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 you don't really care because you can't care if you talk like this citing the Reuters story russia embassy and united states demanded that washington stop the extremist activities of meta users of facebook and instagram did not give the owners of this platform the rights to determine the criteria of truth and pit nations against each other the embassy said on twitter in a message that was 
also shared by the India office. The temporary policy changes on calls for violence to Russian soldiers applied to Armenian, Azerbaijan, Estonia, Georgia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania. Okay, wow, as if that is not gonna be confusing. That, that's like you're telling everybody, just like the soldier, there are so many genders, but they're all the same, but maybe not, but you can just have the negotiation as if it's not gonna be freaking difficult. Why would you do something like this? You're making it worse, people. We are doing this because we observed that in this specific context, Russian soldier is used as a proxy for the Russian military. The hate speech policy continues to prohibit attacks on Russians. Wait, I don't get it now. You want us to attack Russian or not? It, it, Look, you can't make something blurry, right? And then say, I'm not responsible for be it being blurry. I, I made my point, but you understood it wrong. No, you have to be clear, but you're a private company. Last week, Russia said it was banning Facebook in the country in response that what it said was restricting access to Russian media on the platform. Moscow has cracked down on the tech company, including Twitter, which said that it's restricted in the country during the invasion of Ukraine, which it calls special operation. See, I told you, something weird is freaking happening, brah. Many major social media platforms have announced a new content restriction around the conflict, including blocking Russian state media RT and spooling in the Europe. European, um, European Union and as demonstrated carves out in some of their policies during the war. Email also showed in a meta would allow praise of the right wing Azov Battalion which is normally prohibited in a change first reported by the intercepted? What? The meta spokesperson briefly said that the company was for the time being making a narrow exception for praise of the Azov regiment strictly in the context of defending Ukraine in their role as if part of the Ukraine National Guard. Oh, so now gangster people can talk because you're motivating the gangster people so the gangster people might help you fight their Putin. Didn't that happen something like that in Afghanistan and that's how the, 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 the gangs of Arabic were created that you was fighting in Afghanistan or something like that? You're fueling people to make them powerful to help you with the enemy closest to them and then when they kinda win, they become your own freaking enemy. Come on, man. If China came in and China was teaming up with Mexico and they were gonna put, and they were operating out of Mexico, what would we do? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, you know what we would do. Yeah, everybody knows what you're gonna do. No wonder. You wanna protect your own asset. But you think you're the police, you keep expanding, and even if I believe US is a better choice, like the better, greater evil compared than, you, than Russia, compared to China, I get what you're trying to say, but there comes a point that I'm gonna be like, at least be respectful about it but but not a bully you're pushing near the border of the other bully the other bully is gonna explode you can expect me to be in a way like oh no the other bully exploded what are we gonna do now that bully might punch me and you're gonna look at me it was putin's fault i'm like no you keep encroaching on them because you're trying to make a gangster deal with ukraine i don't know what the heck is happening but now you're advocating to label all the Russians, label all the invading Russians in a weird way. I don't know. It's like ping, pam, ping, pam. It's like these people don't know how to move forward. If China was the one that close to you, I understand if you pushed him back. Why can I not find it normal if you go near Ukraine right in front of Russia and you're going to be like, well, Putin is the gangster one. I don't know, am I that stupid that I don't see the logic that that doesn't make any sense? And now, and now certain people are like, we are seeing some Russian soldier with chemical suit because there seems to be a bio lab there. Imagine, boom, the next Wuhan is happening where, uh oh, Ukraine. I don't know, man, what's happening with this world? Look, man, all the people that are living in forums, amen, good luck to you. I wish I did that early. Right now, I'm still in the big city. I'm not sure if I want to be here, but hey. At least I got a form in a way, in a ninja way, but I'll let you know if I'm still alive, if I'm making YouTube videos. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about informing people. And let me know what you think. What you think is going to happen now? Is it going to go bad or worse? Do you have a plan A, B, C, an island that you can escape? Tell me, tell me. And we'll stay in touch. Don't get me wrong. Makosa kita bong.